the dad who's being called a hero around the country for shielding his kids when gunfire erupted in a car dealership here in New York. He says there are heroes out there, but he says he's not one of them. In this Inside Edition exclusive, he told us he was simply doing what any father would do. He's the hero dad who shielded his three young sons when gunfire broke out at a car dealership. And now he's speaking exclusively to Inside Edition. What you did was heroic. I just went into fatherly mode at that moment and I just wanted to keep the kids safe. The 39-year-old construction worker had come to this car dealership in the Bronx to buy his wife an amazing gift for her birthday, a new car. His three sons were with him. Suddenly, as they sat in the lounge, chaos erupted. A man pulled out a gun and started firing. Anthony Jefferson was an innocent bystander when he found himself in the midst of reported gang warfare. All his fatherly instincts kicked in, and he protectively covered his sons with his body. At one point, I actually see a bullet go through the top of that couch that you were sitting on. One bullet struck right where his six-year-old son was sitting. It just missed his head. If I wouldn't have grabbed him, it would probably hit his head. Jefferson was rushed to the hospital with a gunshot to the thigh, but not before he calmly called his wife. He said, sweetheart, come pick the kids up. When you got to the car dealership, you had no idea there was a shooting. I had no clue. Danica is overcome with emotion, thinking how close she came to losing her family. This is the video that everyone is talking about, what a hero your husband is. Uh... She asked that we not show the boys' faces. Because of his gunshot wound, Jefferson says he has lost his construction job. But his family is thankful, knowing it could have been a lot worse. Dad, you, you're a hero. He's my husband. He's my hero every day. <laughs> the world just actually was able to now see that. We think he's a hero, too. Anthony still has a bullet in his leg. He'll need surgery to remove it. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help, and it has already raised more than a quarter of a million dollars.